Human nature is evil, and goodness is caused by intentional activity. Shunzi. Shunzi is recognized as to offer a completed Confucian system that was served as the model for traditional education in China until the modern era. The practice was an important part of Shunzi's education. Welcome back, guys, to my YouTube channel, Few Minutes Knowledge, where we explore the lives of various historians to see their contributions to the modern world. In this video, we're talking about Shunzi. Little is known about Shunzi's life. He was born as Shun Kuang in the state of Zhao, most likely around 310 BCE. He attended the prestigious Zhixia Academy in the state of Qi, where he studied every major philosophical tradition of his time. Later he became a teacher, teaching his students about his vision of Confucianism. His well-known belief that human nature is evil has led many commentators to contrast him with Mencius, who believed that human nature was intrinsically good. Shunzi explained that people had to be taught to be good, but there is no need to teach people to be selfish and mean because that is in their nature. Shunzi believed that the right kind of moral education could transform people, either making them morally better or keeping them from becoming worse. He also stated that certain music provides joy and therefore is essential to human well-being. Junzi also believed that does exist the natural way, but has nothing to do with human destiny. He uses the example of first people to ford the river leaving markers for those who follow after so they can avoid the deep places. Junzi gave importance on language because with the precise vocabulary the communication will be presented as proper reflection of reality. In 238 BCE, he left the state of Qi to get a position in the Magistrate of Lanling by Lord Chunsen in the state of Chu. However, the same year, Lord Chunsen was assassinated and the position was not given to Shunzi anymore. He passed away around 235 BCE. After Confucius and Mencius, Shunzi is frequently regarded as antiquity's third greatest Confucian philosopher. That's it from our side, folks. Don't hesitate to comment below and share the video with your friends. Also, subscribe to the channel to get more awesome content. See you in my next video.